Now, whenever we get into the sides, often the shoulders are involved. So if your shoulders are just needing a break, you can opt out of any of this stuff or just don't do it quite as long if it starts to hurt. We're gonna open up the ribs with a standing side bend. Take your feet wide. Your staff will rest once again over your shoulders. As wide as you can, your hands out, comfortable, relaxed. This is like a, like a triangle light, a triangle mini version. So turn your, uh, let's do left foot in, right foot out, hips squared with your shoulders and just a very light side bend here. Not too far. Just enough that you feel the opening across this side. The staff will support the upper arms so that you're not straining it. You can actually feel a sense of ease as you breathe and open the side. Legs are strong. Your neck can even rotate up a little bit. Breathe into the ribs, breathe up into the chest. Maybe even a little smile. When you're coming out, bend your right knee and then use your legs to align your spine. Let's switch. Right toe in, left toes out, hips, shoulders square, and just lightly tilt to the side and open up your edges. Comfortable breathing here. When you're opening new areas of your body, it's important not to overdo it because you're not used to it. You may not know if you're overdoing it. How you can tell? Usually you're breathing. If you have to hold your breath, you're probably overdoing it. Back off till you can breathe comfortably. When you're ready to come out, you're gonna bend your left knee, use your legs to press down, rise, straighten your spine, and then stand tall. Well done. Bring your staff down. Let's shrug your shoulders out. And pause for a moment as you stand. See if you feel any difference in your posture and your, in the torso and in the side, how that feels. Often you can feel like you're a little taller once the space opens up here in the ribs. 